Hi Pisces, it's Abby. Welcome to your reading. So, I'm going to be using the Lightseer's Tarot and I think just the Rider Waite. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to just pull together a little reading for you. I just want to know what's going on in the energetic fields that will benefit the most Pisces for them to know about. So I'm going to do a quick little nine card spread, see what's happening present, and then work out future, future. And I just want to know, like, what's going to be the most important messages here. Something, hmm. Interesting. <laughs> All of a sudden it's just like reverse that. And I was like, okay. I guess I will. I've been liking reading reversals lately. Um, they're not always, they don't always um, speak to me. But lately, they have been. So, interesting. That first row wasn't hitting me. But we'll go with it. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Hmm. 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 We have eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So this could have to do with your work, attention to detail, apprenticeship, learning, um, growing your reputation here, Pisces. We have in your first line, the ten of swords, two pentacles, page of wands. So this feels like a, a new start or a new adventure coming in on the tail of a crappy ending. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ten of Swords is that energy that says, like, uh, like something's dead, done, over with. It's just over. It's done. And you're walking towards the light, right? Ten of Swords is walking towards the sun, towards a new beginning, towards something that is going to be different and fresh. We have the Two of Pentacles here talking about balance um, and also about, like, changes, right? Adapting to those changes. So it feels like probably you're going to feel like you're juggling things for this period of time. And then with Page of Wands, you could have a fire sign person, Aries, Leo, or a Sag in your life. Um, but the signs, don't get hung up on the signs because they're not necessary. It can be just talking about an energy, right? Page of Wands can be about adventure. It can be about having a lot of energy, feeling these little bursts. Um, you might be kind of itchy to get out of a situation here. Let me take a look what we got. The Hermit. Yeah, that makes sense. See, now I feel like some of you have had a real trouble balancing um, like negative aspects of work, working focus. Like the Eight of Pentacles can be a card of, of focus. And when it's in its negative aspect, you had it showing up here. And then showing up here with balance, work-life balance being really important, you're your relationships in the 3D and the 5D um, are important. So if someone spends all their time meditating and working on their higher self, but never, but like neglects their interpersonal relationships out here when they open their eyes and come out of the lotus pose, um, that's not positive either, right? <laughs> that's actually pretty negative. That's avoiding uh, an, an important aspect of life. So for some, it's like that even spirituality can be a negative, right? It doesn't always have to be a positive. You could have a Virgo person or someone who had Virgo placements who might have been associated with whatever this change is. But it feels like for some of you that you went through a bit of this dark night of the soul energy, some of this soul searching to kind of figure out your North Star, right? Um, we have the Page of Wands down here with the Four of Swords. So that feels like there is a, a lot of healing, a lot of rest. Now, these are like a very opposing energies, right? The Page of Wands is very, very fiery. Sorry, very, very fiery. <laughs> I might have cut out a little cough there. Um, and then Four Swords is really like healing and restoration. Now, it feels like for some of you, I'm, I'm getting the sense that perhaps this burst of energy has come because you have let yourself move through a change, let yourself look within, let yourself rebalance maybe after a time of not paying enough respect to your physical body, uh, your need to not maybe not be a workaholic. Maybe, maybe it just wasn't even that you were trying to be a workaholic. Maybe you were just trying to fit in 
um, in whatever corporate culture or working culture that you had and you did too much and now you're realizing looking around you that all these bums aren't doing anything and <laughs> you're doing all the work because they can expect you to, right? Um, and it becomes like an unbalanced situation. I'm feeling like for some of you there could be something happening there. Uh, for some reason I wanted to say new supervisor. So for some of you there might be something to do with a new supervisor. I don't know how that's associated, but... You'll probably tell me in the comments if it rings for you. Uh, in your near future, we have, okay, we have the Three of Wands, the Judgment card, and the Ace of Swords, and they're all in the reverse. So this is pretty interesting. Now, it feels like there is uh, possibly some judgment in the reverse can be a time when we sort of willfully try not to know ourselves or try to ignore the, our inner calling, right? We're just not listening. Um, it can also be a lack of self-awareness. So for some people that might be part of the struggle, right? Um, but it feels more like it's like there's a calling that for some of you, you're really not hearing. Uh, the Ace of Swords, this is a little chaotic, I gotta say. So you might in the near future um, be dealing with a little bit of energy where there's just no order. And that could maybe cause some self-doubt. Um, and this might have to do with delays of some kind for you. For the Three of Wands to be in reverse there, that's usually a card of expansion and things kind of moving and going and like you're, you're seeing improvements and you're seeing your ship start to come and you're seeing, starting to see results, right? When it's in the reverse, then we're talking about uh, sort of frustration, right? Because we're just like, why isn't this working? And it feels like for some, even though you've worked through this time, and you've had this period of acceptance. Maybe you're trying to learn how to like balance your energy better. You've allowed yourself to recover. You're starting to get really, really um, focused on and excited about what you want to do next. What I'm wanting to say to you is you may come up against a time where things, you might hit some delays. Okay. And it feels like with this Ace of Swords, it's what I'm wanting to say is it's stuff that's out of your control and actually has nothing to do with you. <laughs> it has nothing to do with like, you know how sometimes stuff starts to happen and we'll get all woe is me and be like, oh, it must be the universe's divine plan to screw me over or whatever that is. Um, for some reason, I'm being told to like that someone might get into that mindset and that makes them doubt themselves and feel like maybe I'm not on the right path. Maybe I'm doing the wrong thing. Um, and it really, I feel like it's logistical. I don't know if that means that maybe if you have a business, maybe a shipment is delayed or if it if it's... Um, something to do with a relationship, maybe uh, a date falls through or someone stands you up or something like that. And it makes you start to think, well, maybe I should just throw in the towel and not do it anyway. <laughs> um, it feels a little chaotic, right? It feels like there's no truth and it's all weird, but I don't know. Let's take a look. See, yeah. Queen of Swords. If there are delays, come in with some logic. Try to see things. There could be an air sign person who's associated with it, but th the Queen of Swords in the upright is all about clear sight, right? Being able to just see something for what it is. What's this? Uh, beautiful. So the Empress, doubting yourself, sure, whatever. That's not going to get you all that far. You're right at the, at the brink of discovery. You're right at the brink of completion, of achievement. And there's beautiful Empress energy that's hanging out here. For the signs we have Scorpio and we have strong Taurus with the Empress. So just abundance, right? This looks like something you've worked really hard on. Um, and I'm, I'm feeling really like I'm wanting to caution you, right? Please don't um, like get into, like you can do whatever you want, honestly, okay? Do whatever you please, my dears. But yeah, see, big picture energy, big picture energy. But this, this feels like what this whole middle row is saying is that it feels like something comes up that's del a delay, it may make you start to doubt your path, yourself, and feel like everything is chaos. You don't really get it. It feels like you're focusing in too close. The King of Wands is a big is a big picture energy. This is someone who can sit back and take the like large scope kind of look at things. Queen of Swords, more cerebral, right? More in their head, knowing in your heart, you like behave as though the Empress would behave, right? Try to correct your thought patterns from a place of like. If I want to be an emperor or empress energy, which BT dubs, right? They've come out to, sh to show support for each other here. We have the king and the queen of wands here, like backing each other up. So this gorgeous energy that's available for you. 
And it's like, when, as this stuff happens, like try to imagine yourself in your head, like what would someone who lived that, that existence as the empress, as the queen of wands, as the emperor, as the king of wands, how do these people, what would be the attitude? How would they look at it? Can I, can I draw something from that? Can I figure that out? Because 10 of wands, it feels like there could even be like a way that you were doing things. I'm feeling like the delay might actually be a blessing in disguise in a weird way, whatever this thing is. I don't know, man. <laughs> You're going to tell me, right? Um, so we have in your last row here for what's coming, we have Queen of Wands, really attractive energy. Then we have the wheel and we have the world. So it's interesting here. So there could be... Um, they're both in the reverse. So the world is like things being kind of unfinished. Something isn't quite done yet. And with the wheel being in the reverse, it feels like it might be just a, like a simple stroke of bad luck. It, yeah, a stroke of bad luck. It feels like there's stuff that happens because the wheel is all about things like kind of happening that are beyond our control, good or bad, right? So there could be something here that leaves something kind of unfinished. Hmm. Now this to me feels like that could be more like you don't get to complete a project that you wanted to complete. You might have to wait for parts in the mail or you might have to um, go out uh, and date other people, see other people. You have the emperor here, which is gorgeous, right? Forward thinking, lots of vision, queen of wands, really attractive energy. This is Aries and you have fire signs up here so this feels like really attractive energy that's available to you anyway and almost wanting to be like to tell you to kind of like i don't know case a riot <laughs> you know it's like the serenity prayer right like god i can never remember it right grant me the serenity to like recognize the things i can change the something or other to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference, you know, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. This is important, an important decision that ha is coming up here. What is this important decision? Okay, so this might have to do with something that is possibly an offer that comes to you as an act of charity. I feel like for some of you, there might even be a feeling of, um, are you not sure if you want to take this help? I'm not sure if you like the way that it's being offered to you, right? And it feels like it's just trying to, something's coming in here and trying to balance with this Six of Pentacles. Um, if you're listening to this, we have, we had the Queen of Swords, we had the Two, or Queen of Wands, clarified, but the Two of Swords, Four of Cups, Six of Pentacles. So this feels like something is coming in to try and offer you some help. Um, and it's like, there's a bit of stalemate energy and it's because it's an important decision, but it's like hard to accept whatever the offer is. Interesting. Tell me about this, this little cluster here of the world and the wheel. The sun. See, this is interesting. This is making me feel like the reason I was feeling like Kesara, yeah, is it's like, you know, it could be Leo energy. We have the sun and the king of cups that came out on top of that, if you're just listening. But th this feels like it's like a... A delay of some kind or something that gets unfinished but you end up being like it feels like a blessing in disguise something that you love and that actually makes you feel a little bit more clarity and a little bit happier possibly another water sign person something like that but like it feels like at the end of the day whatever it is it ends up being like oh okay well that was actually for the best Page of Pentacles, why? Mm, right, okay. So this Emperor is being clarified by Page of Pentacles in reverse and the Six of Swords. Now the Page of Pentacles in reverse, like Emperor can be like an Aries person. It can be, don't get hung up on the signs. Um, but this is someone who's like foresight, who's a starter, maybe some like a little bit of stubbornness, a little bit of controlling energy. The Page of Pentacles is like, in reverse shows up when there's just sort of like impracticality um this like the page of pentacles in reverse rather than being practical rather than taking one step at a time and putting one foot at you know in front of the other and moving out of these choppy waters the page of pentacles 
in reverse is like daydreaming and thinking about all the change that they want to see and doing whatever rather than taking real action. So this feels like this is more of like a complimentary kind of clarification. This emperor energy, while this could be a person who maybe has these kind of energies attached to them, this could also be telling you that like for you to move forward and to have a lot of like control and taking charge and bossing up kind of energy, it's like taking things out of daydream mode and moving it into action because the six of swords is definitely a card of action and movement um, coming through there. Very encouraging reading. I like it. And then we have the Knight of Swords at the bottom. That's drive, baby. That's ambition, right? This is like really, really wanting to move and change and shake things up. I like this. So whatever this is in the middle here that, that you might hit this sort of sticky bit in the wheel of fate, you know, um, try not to let it trip you up too much, whatever it is, okay? Um, I'm going to give you an oracle. Wisdom of the Oracle. What do we have here? Message in a bottle and fork in the road. Well, hell. Yeah, there's something here. So basically, you have a couple different ways that you can go here. A message in a bottle. I want to read fork in the road. Message in the bottle is pretty... It's pretty straightforward. This card is pretty well about you get a like a message through either a person or you could get an email, you could hear a lyric in a song, you could whatever, but it's something that speaks to you and it like helps you to have an epiphany or a focus and it's, it's what you need to hear is information that you need to have. Fork in the road, it's time to make a decision considering the consequences you prepare to act, owning up to your obligation to make a necessary choice. Interesting, okay. So, I mean, we had some indecision up here with this Queen of Wands energy. So this is talking about every choice has a consequence. You've arrived at a fork in the road and you're being asked to come to a decision. Will you further your dreams by choosing left or by choosing right? Will you take the road less traveled or the one well worn by others who've come before you? This is your choice and yours alone to make. Circumstances and other people will not make it for you, so be present and do not avoid this junction, for it is an important crossroads. Take heart, as no matter which path you choose, you will have a rich and meaningful experience. Right, so this feels like possibly something being offered to you. You might feel like, I'm, I'm getting a sense of almost um, pride and feeling like I don't want your charity with the six of pentacles. I don't tend to get charity a lot of the time with that card, but I, I am right now. Whatever this is, it feels like assistance of some sort. So it seems like there could for some of you, of course, only take it if it resonates. But it seems like if there's some kind of thing that happens uh, in, uh, you know, the in the future off from this, there's... It feels like whatever you choose, so long as you're choosing something that's forward, it's okay. But for some of you, the stalling is happening around whether or not to accept help from someone. And it looks like, you know, what we have here is that a loving, happy, good energy comes out on top of whatever this was, whatever that fell through or that felt like it was a stroke of bad luck. There's something else that's meant to come in. Okay. Okay. Is that what we're going to leave it today? Yes, that's where we're going to leave it today. So thank you so much, Pisces. I'm glad that you came by. <laughs> um, if you haven't already entered for the August free reading giveaway, there are rules in the description down below. Just open the description box. I place them near the top of the description so you don't have to scroll very far. Just read the rules and enter if you wish, okay? Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it again in September. I'm really hoping I will. Um, yeah, so like... Enter, please. <laughs> I would love to give away more readings. So um, lots of love, everybody. I hope I'll see you soon. And uh, hope I'll see you soon. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> okay, bye now.